47. How long would it take to reduce one mole of each of the following ions using the current indicated? And then we have this example where we have aluminum ion, which is Al3+, and then we have a current of 1.234 amps. So since they told us we have an ion here and a current, right, anytime that you see a capital A as your unit, that's amps, and that's a type of current. Now, they're asking for how long something is going to take, right? If, so, if you're asking how long something's going to take, you're looking for a time. So I'm searching for a time. They gave me a current, right? So a current is always capital I in chemistry. And they're saying that we have moles. So I say to myself, what, what formulas can I link between a current, an I value, a time, which is lowercase t, and some type of mole? Well, that equation is this. You have four units here. You have time, which is lowercase t. You have n, which is the moles. F is a constant number, which is Faraday's constant, and here is that current, the I value. Now, in this case, I just uh, reorganized this formula just to fit T equals, because that's what we're solving for, but you can basically solve for any of the other three variables. Technically, you should solve for two of them, because the Faraday's constant is a constant number. All right, Faraday's constant is 96,485. So 96,485, if you want to know the units, it's Coulomb per mole. The current I, we just were told that, 1.234 amps. And now the N value is a little bit tricky because when we're using this formula, we're talking about electrolysis, redox reactions, electrons that are transferred. So in this formula, the N value is actually the number of moles of electrons. It's not how many of the actual ion you have, it's all about the electron, which I'll put E minus here. So in this case, they told us that we had one mole of the Al3 plus. So we have one mole of the Al3 plus, but that's not good enough. I need to find out how many moles of electrons are transferred in Al3 plus. Well, the key here is to look at the charge in the upper right-hand corner. In this case, an Al3 plus means that you lost three electrons. So for every one aluminum ion that's being made, you're losing three electrons because the three is in that upper right-hand corner. And now, how many moles of electrons for every one aluminum? Yeah, your N value would be three. So we have that number. Now let's just plug in and solve. T equals, we'll put that there. We have two values on the top, one value on the bottom. I'm gonna put in Faraday's constant first, 96,485, divided by the amp, 1.234. And now we know that the moles is gonna be three. So T equals three times 96,485 divided by, oh, what, what was going on there? 96,485, um, that looks good, divided by 1.234. And there you go. Sig figs, um, technically we have four sig figs here, right? The one mole is a standard value. It's a countable value, so it doesn't count for sig figs. So technically I should have four sig figs here. So if I just put this into scientific notation, I have 2.346, that's your four sig figs. And then I'm going to say times 10 to the one, two, three, four, five. And for this formula to work, it's always going to be coming out in seconds. Now, technically they did not state that they wanted minutes or hours, but if you need to convert that in your question, go for it, right? In order to convert seconds to minutes, you would divide by 60 to get your minutes. And then if you needed hours, you just divide by 60 again. But I'm just gonna keep it in seconds here because they didn't say, 
and this is how long it would take a lot of seconds. So if I just quickly just take that answer and divide it by 60, that's how many minutes, 3,909 minutes, and then if I just divide by 60 again, it takes about 65 hours. And there you go. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 30,000 subscribers, and it's all because of you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Let's keep learning, as that's what the goal of this channel is, to help you guys learn in all of your classes in school. Right now, we have chem, physics, and math videos on the channel. We have a bunch of ranges of what we are offering in our math courses, from algebra all the way to pre-calculus. So go check it out. And we have like a whole physics course for you. Got over 4,000 videos at the moment, all for you guys. So please hit that subscribe button. Thank you. I'll be talking to you soon. Bye-bye.